What is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to another age of empires mobile video in today's episode we are going to have a look at one of the best free-to-play events in the entire game you should make sure you participate in this event pretty much every single day it's going to help you improve your hero significantly you're going to get skill scrolls and you're going to get legendary skills for free if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more content turn on the bell notification and never miss out like the video, share it with your friends, drop some comments down below. Let's get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the new event that I'm talking about is called the Wishing Card event. This event is going to help you improve your hero significantly. This is what the main page of the event looks like. I am playing on early access version. This event is not yet available for all the global players. You are going to get it soon. Now the event is going to give you a lot of good stuff. Every single day you're going to get one free flip and that flip has the potential to become two or three flips. You have lucky blessings over here. It says each flip may trigger a lucky blessing, granting an extra flip or multiplying your rewards. So we have plenty of rewards here. You can multiply them. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can get this targeted relocator and then it gets multiplied by four which is good stuff. Good luck getting that targeted relocator because you're not going to see the rewards from here. You just have to click randomly and if you're lucky, you get the best one. So if we go to the instructions, this is what the instruction says. You can read it for yourself. Um, you can flip the cards and get some good stuff pretty much every single day. The event goes on for, I think, two weeks. So make sure you log in until you finish. And when we go to the rewards, you can see what we have over here. You're going to have like free legendary skills that you can use on some of your best heroes. Each one of these skills is going to cost 8,000 Empire coins. But if you participate in this event, you are going to get it for free. Now, there are some juicy, awesome skills over here that you don't want to miss out. Let's check some of them one by one. We're going to start off with this one right here, which is known as the PLS Strike. This skill is used on so many warrior swordsman heroes. We also have the next one, which is the Earth Crush Medal. So we're going to have a look at these two first. So we're going to hit cancel and we're going to go to the heroes and I show you where you can see those skills. We go over here and these are our heroes. So we're going to start off with one of the most popular heroes available in the game, aka Miyamoto Musashi. So let's go to the skills. We hit more skills and take a look over here, guys. We have PLS Strike, which you can get for free from that event. That is what I used to unlock this PLS Strike. So just by participating in that event, you're going to save yourself 8,000 Empire Coins to buy this skill which is pretty nice. Now that event also has the Earth Crush. This is something I can unlock right away, but I still don't know if I want to use this. In the early stages of the game, you are going to use Miyamoto with maybe King Derek and Yodit. King Derek requires the route effect. And over here, you have the chance to get these skills for free and use it on your King Derek as you wait for Yodit. And this skill is going to give you the route which King Derek is going to use. So make sure you play that event. You don't want to miss out. We're going to continue looking at some of the heroes that we have in the game as well. Let's take a look at Trip Huana. What are some customizable skills that she can get? Or oh, take a look at this. Trip Huana has PLS Strike, which is something you can get from that event. And I think King's Blade is also there. We are going to have a look. Maybe Bloodthirst. So Trip Juana has PLS Strike that you can use. And we also have Yodit. What does Yodit have? Yodit also has PLS Strike. So that's going to be some good stuff. Make sure you participate in that event and you never miss out. Let's go back to the event and check out some of the other skills as well. Which heroes are using them? So this is the wishing card. By the way, you can get the same skill multiple times, so you don't need to worry. Every time the event comes, it's going to refresh and you can keep on getting the same type of skill if you want. You can just switch and get the ones that you want. 
So for now, we're going to click on each skill so you know which one is here. You can look at the heroes that you have and then just have an idea on how you're going to get some of those skills for free. So we have here King's Blade Metal. We have Tenacity. We're going to see which heroes use this Tenacity. We have here Protracted Battle Metal. We have this one Spirited Pursuit. We have Righteous Judgment. And we have Blood Thirst Metal. Once you've gotten all these skills, if you don't really want them anymore, you can get 20 Legendary Skill Scroll, which is huge. Every time this event comes around, you get yourself 20 legendary skill scroll, which is what I will be doing. I still need to get one more PLS strike that I'm going to use maybe on Trip Huana. So we're going to see. Let us go back to the heroes and see some of the skills that we have already talked about. Who should we check out? Um, Does Attila have anything? Attila, he, Attila is a common hero. I mean, he is used a lot. Um, I don't see any skills for Attila over there, so let's go back here. What about Mr. Hammurabi? Let's see Hammurabi. Let's see, what does he have? Yep, he has Earth Crash and he has Bloodthirst. I think we saw Bloodthirst over there as well. So you can get two customizable skills, legendary for free. And we have Frederick Barbarossa. He has Tenacity. As you guys can see here, we got Tenacity. Did we see King's Blade over there? Let's go and check. Maybe King's Blade is another free one to get. So we go over here, we scroll down, and we check Wishing Card. Is there a King's Blade? What is this? Protected Battle. Spirited Pursuit. Righteous Judgment. Bloodthirst. Not this one, not this one. What about this? King's Blade Medal. Yep. We got a King's Blade Medal over here. So that is pretty good. Let's go back and see some heroes that are going to utilize some of the skills. So we're going to have the common lineup like Mr. Richard. What free skills can you give him? You can get from that event. Here you go, guys. We have tenacity if you want to use it on Mr. Richard. So we go back. We check out Boudica. What can you use for Boudica from there? Boudica also has Tenacity and she has King's Blade. So you guys see you can get two legendary skills from that event and use them on Boudica if you want. If you don't want to spend 8,000 Empire Coins to buy these skills. We keep this pushing. We have Leonidas. Leonidas has some of those skills as well. Okay, Leonidas has Tenacity and King's Blade as well. So King's Blade says, deal smite damage to the enemy troops every 9 seconds, damage rate. This one, with a 46% chance to increase all your heroes' damage by 6%. So this one increases all your heroes' damage, which is nice. All three heroes, pretty good in your lineup. That's some good skill to have. So where is Josephine? A very common hero. That's used a lot. So let's see what skills you can get for her. Legendary version. So she has... Okay, looks like there is nothing for this hero over there. Okay. Let's see who else. What about King Derek? Is there anything you can get for free from that event to boost him up? So we have the Earth Crush you can get from that event. And we have Righteous Judgment. You can get from that event as well. As you can see here, I can use it right away. Enters Charging State. After 3 seconds, deals Might damage to enemy troop damage rate and reduces all heroes' might and strategy by this amount. I think this one has Spirited Pursuit. Yep, this is another free one you can get from there. After launching a normal attack, deals Might damage to enemy troop. So Spirited Pursuit is another skill that you can get from this event so let's go over here and check make sure we got spirited pursuit switch medal the one with the horse there you go guys spirited pursuit medal it's available so make sure you participate in this event it's gonna make your hero stronger if you don't want to get this 
medals, you can go for the legendary skill scroll. You can use them to upgrade your heroes. Me personally, I have about 300 legendary skill scroll. I don't want to use them because I want to save them for next generation heroes. I don't want to waste a lot of my skills on these heroes. After all, we still don't have a KVK for different servers. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to let people test out most of these skills and then I'm going to use them on the correct heroes. So this is the video that I want to show you guys. Make sure you prepare for this event. This event along with the Trojan Turmoil are two of the best events in the game. We have this Trojan Turmoil as well, as well which is going to give you a lot of Empire Coins for free every week. 2,000 free Empire Coins every two days. You don't want to miss out on this event. And then you're going to get this Wishing Card event as well. You don't want to miss out. The good thing here is you flip for free every single day and you get the reward. It doesn't cost you anything. You just have to log into the game, do the flip, finish all of these things here, finish it all, and you get yourself a free legendary medal, which is pretty good. So make sure you be on the lookout for this. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new, subscribe for more content. Until then, talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.